Grade 8 math number 8.2F. This entire chapter 8 is about systems of equations and our entire unit 2 is about substitution. So we're going to find the area of a triangle. We can solve a linear system to find the area of a triangle. One way would it be to find the coordinate points and use them to find the height. We would then use the base measure with the height to find the area using A equals half BH. That's the formula for the area of a triangle. Now remember, we can check our answers, the found values for x and y, by plugging them into the original equation, substituting them into them. And remember, it's way easier to graph equations in slope-intercept form because we know where it hits the y-axis and the slope. And remember, a positive slope rises to the right. The line rises to the right. And with a negative slope, the line falls to the right. Okay? I'm going to get that drilled into your head. All right? So, I've got a graph here, and the graph shows a triangle formed by the x-axis and the line x plus y equals 12 and the line y equals 3x. Okay? We have to find the area of the triangle that's formed in quadrant 1. Now, these coordinate grids, these coordinate planes, are split into four quadrants. And you would think that it would start here, but it doesn't. It starts here and comes around. So just think, coordinate plane makes a letter C. See? The word coordinate makes the letter C. Okay? And then you'll remember that it starts here and it comes around this way. Keep thinking letter C. Alright? So, the first thing we do is find the coordinates of point A by solving the system. And here's the two equations, the system of equations. See? We've got x plus y equals 12, and we've got y equals 3x, all right? I'm going to substitute this 3x for y in the first equation. So that gives us x plus 3x equals 12, because we've replaced that y. We've substituted it with the 3x, okay? Well, now we can combine the terms. We have x plus 3x is 4x. 4x equals 12 is what we get. We can divide both sides by the 4 and get our friend the invisible 1, right? So we have x equals 12 divided by 4 is 3, x equals 3. Now we can use this x equals 3 to solve the second equation. It said y equals 3x, so that means y equals 3 times 3. So y equals 9. We've got our points, 3 comma 9. Now, yes, we could have looked on here and seen that it's at 3. Here's 3 on the x and 9, okay? But we could have graphed the lines by putting both equations in slope-intercept form ourselves if it wasn't already on this piece of paper and if it wasn't already given to us and it told us to find the area of a triangle for this equation and that equation, that system of equations, and we didn't have anything drawn, we could have done it ourselves, couldn't we? We could have put them in slope-intercept form and we could have graphed them ourselves because we know that this is a negative 1 slope that hits the y-axis on 12, and this is a positive 3 slope that hits the y-axis on a 0, right? When it doesn't have anything written back here for the y-intercept b, that means we can just put a 0 there, right? A plus 0 to put it in slope-intercept form, okay? So, they did give it to us, and they did give us the drawing, and here is our yellow triangle that we need to find the area for. So, point 3 comma 9 is right here. We use these coordinates to find the height of the triangle. Well, the height is 9 square units because it's on the 9 for the y. See? We can look at the x-axis for the length of the base, and we can see right here that it's on a 12. And see, it hits it on a 0. See that? That means it's proportional, doesn't it? Okay, so, do you remember that? That when it goes through the origin, it's proportional? So, that doesn't matter. I just thought I'd throw that in. So we know that it goes from 0 to 12 for the base, and we can use that 12 square units to help us find the area. So we know the height is 9, and we know the base is 12, and the formula for the area of a triangle is half equals base times height. So, if the base is 12 and the height is a 9, we need half of that. So we could do 12 times 9 is 108 and cut that in half and get 54, or we could say half of 12 is a 6 
and multiply that by a 9 and get 54. Either way, it's going to be the same, right? So, we know that the area of this yellow triangle is 54 square units. See that? Do you see other triangles? We could have done this one and used Y as the base, and we could have used this as the height, going from this point to this point, saying that the height was 3. See? Let me turn the camera sideways. This could have been our triangle with this Y as the base, and we could have used this as the height, and we could have found the area, couldn't we? Yeah, we could have done that. All right, so that's just finding the area of a triangle. We used substitution and the area formula for a triangle, didn't we? All right, we're going to continue on talking about systems of equations, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.